Andres have a big job opening to fill. They are looking for a new manager. It's something we were talking about just yesterday, and then boom, it happened. Here we go. The team mm -hmm. fired Jace Tingler after two seasons. News 8's Chris Crow live outside Petco Park with reaction to this, as well as uh, what's next. A lot of fans weighing in on this one, Chris. A lot of fans weighing in because at around the beginning of the season, we all thought that it would be the Padres that would be in the playoffs, potentially facing off against the Los Angeles Dodgers or maybe even the San Francisco Giants. But instead, it's those two teams that will be facing each other in the playoffs while the Padres are busy trying to find a new manager. The big slide at the end of the season, a huge part of the reason why Tingler was relieved of his duties. The baseball we played over the last two months, and I've, I've said this to, to everybody I've talked to, players, staff, everything. I mean, obviously, there's there's a lot of reasons why you you know you you go you know and play at a, a 12 and 30 clip or whatever that was at the end of the season. Um, you know, it's never one thing. It's not a, a you know a single managerial decision, a strategy decision. You know, now's really the time to sit back and go, okay, well, how do we make sure this uh, that we get this right here going forward? And you know, I think obviously the change today that's that's uh, that's a step, and and we'll keep looking at some other uh, some other things from the season. And look, th this is quite the fall from grace because it was just last year we were all singing the praises of manager Jace Tingler taking the Padres to the playoffs during that COVID shortened season, winning or excuse me, I should say finishing second in the ballot for National League Manager of the Year. Uh, this was someone who looked to be on an upward trajectory along with the Padres. That's why they made a lot of the moves that they did during the offseason this year to try to get them over the hump. So in August, when they had the best record in baseball 50 games into the season a lot of people didn't think that it would quite end this way but you know they did end up finishing sub 500 so this was again quite a fall here for Jace Tingler and the Padres so now they will be looking for a new skipper here a new person to lead this team and fans are anxious to see who it could end up being. I think that they just need somebody that's a lot more aggressive. They can manage multiple multiple talents, not just uh, not just the one guy. Like we started out with Manny, you know. And I think that now there's too many hotheads on that team. You got to have some kind of median, you know what I mean? I don't think he's he's that guy. And of course, Tingler did release a statement after his firing saying, quote, it's been an honor and a privilege of a lifetime to manage the San Diego Padres and lead this group of men. I'm truly thankful for the opportunity and grateful for the tireless efforts of our players, coaches and support staff over the last two years. While I'm profoundly disappointed that our season ended far too soon, I know this team has a very bright future ahead. Now, again, Tingler really only spending two seasons with the Padres, that first one that resulted in the first playoff appearance in 13 years was an in, or excuse me, a COVID shortened season. So this is not someone who maybe, as some people are pointing out, had as much time as maybe other managers have in order to try to get a team right. But it's that precipitous fall there that we saw happen towards the end of the season that a lot of people are pointing out just cannot be excusable. Eric and Stella.